Welcome back to Ben Films. Today I'm making Lady Loki's headpiece for my sister. Hello! So the first thing I'm doing is tracing the patterns onto 4mm EVA foam. You can download my patterns from the link in the description. And I'm tracing the detail parts in the middle of the headpiece onto 2mm foam. Next, cut them out. Make sure your blade is really sharp. Okay, so I got all the pieces here. I got this. Um, originally, this part here came down a little bit. But I just trimmed the part on this piece, but these pieces will still fit over it and make that little lip thing there. Uh, I got these three pieces for the horn. There's one horn, and then this is the little stump thing for the, the other horn that's broken off. And then uh, all those are cut out of four millimeter foam, and then these pieces are cut out of two millimeter foam. You can see there's three pieces like that. Um, and yeah, those are all the pieces. So I'm gonna put the pieces for the horn off to the side, and the other piece here. I'm gonna work on the main piece here. I'm going to use the rotary tool to sort of round over the edges on this piece and the topmost uh, parts of this, the other two. I'll leave it as is. So just round over the edges. Uh, oh, and don't go over those edges. There, keep those straight. Okay, so I rounded over most of the edges on these pieces, once I told you to. And, but upon further inspection on the reference images, this piece actually does not look like it's rounded over, so I'm gonna keep it the same. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my heat gun and I'm going to heat up these, this piece and curve it so that it has the right curve. Okay, so I just rolled it up like this, and I'll wait for it to cool. <laughs> and yeah, just exaggerate the shape when you uh, curve it like this, so that you get the right curve, I because uh, it loosens a bit. So to keep this piece in its curved position, I glued a piece of uh, poster board on the back while it was in this curved position so that it stays in that shape just by gluing it on there keeps that shape. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these three pieces on top of each other for both pieces. So six pieces in total. He's super cool. Okay, so the I glued those three parts on top of each other and those three parts on top of each other and then glued them on top of this part. Make sure to line up the top part so if you look on the back side uh, it does kind of stick out a bit from the back side, if that makes sense, um, that bottom part. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the horn pieces, and I forgot to mention this, but when I cut them out, I cut the tips, only the tips at a bit of an angle, inward angle, so that they're like that. You can see that's the outside, and then that's the inside, like that, so then they can come to a point when I glue them together. So. Uh, last time I forgot to uh, shape these, heat shape these before gluing them together, so I'm gonna do that this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now I'm gonna put contact cement on all the edges and then uh, stick them together. Okay, one thing before I glue them together, 
uh, I want to make sure they come to a point so you can see there like on the inside I'm just gonna trim away a bit on the inside there so then you can see like that it comes to a perfect point. So for those of you who don't know, the way contact cement works is you apply it on both surfaces that you want to stick together, let it dry, and then stick it together. So the first layer usually soaks into the foam, so I usually put two very thin coats. Um, so uh, I let these dry, and I'm going to stick them together now. Now I completely forgot to add registration marks on these pieces. So you're just gonna have to guess, I'm sorry. So first I'm gonna take this center piece and one of the side pieces here. Um, I'm gonna glue it on the inside curve here. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take the other piece and attach it on the other side right here. Okay, so can, now I want to really press those seams together and then do this back seam. So with this piece, I um, there were some gaps in it, so I just put in the seam, so I put a bit of uh, super glue in there and then squished it shut, so then I got this smooth uh, horn piece and you can see I drew a line on there because it's a bit too big so I'm just gonna trim off that much so yeah and because I trimmed that piece I also need to trim a bit off of this piece I'll start with that much and see if I need to trim off more so now I'm gonna glue the edges of this piece together with some super glue to sort of give you the idea, but now I'm trimming it off to make the top part off to make the little stub there, little stump, uh, and don't make the lines perfect at all. You can see mine are all wavy. That's how I want it. Okay, so you can see I cut it on a bit of an angle like that. There we go, now we're gonna fill this hole here. So I have that little piece super glued in there, and now I'm gonna cover up all the seams on uh, that seam there, all the seams on this piece, and also the parts on just on the top here, uh, the top seams here, and for that I'm going to use some caulk stuff. Uh, so yeah. So some images of Lady Loki were released today, so I got to get a better look at the headpiece. So I'm changing a couple things. You can see on the back here, I trimmed this off uh, to make that part look thinner on the outside. So I think that looks a lot better. It's thinner. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and sort of use the rotary, the rotary tool to sort of um, sand this part, make it look like this is actually uh, a piece of the horn. The rest of it just broke off. Yeah. So another detail I noticed um, was on the base of the horns, there's a little strip that goes around. I'm gonna cut that out, I cut out a strip of two millimeter foam here, and you can see these parts I'm gonna trim off. So I'll do that. So I have those pieces glued on the bottom. You can see uh, the thicker part there goes at the bottom of the horn. And uh, of course with this piece, just uh, whichever side you glue that on just make sure to line it up when you glue it on this piece line that up with the bottom 
Which is what we're gonna do now. Some super glue. But you can use other types of glue too. Now one thing I forgot to mention is when you look at the new image that was released, you notice that I noticed that um, these the horn pieces aren't actually perfectly round. So um, you can see like this. So what I, I'll do is when I glue them on, I'll just squish them a little bit like that and glue it on like that. For painting, I'm using Plaid FX paint. If you are not using flexible paint, you will need to seal the foam first. I'm doing a base coat of brown. This is so that the gold color can pop. Next I'm painting it gold. I ended up mixing a bit of brown with it on the third coat to make sure it was closer to the color it's supposed to be. If you're making this, just do all the coats with that color. And here I am painting it with the gold and brown mixture I just told you about. Now I'm painting brown in the low spots, the little uh, nooks and crannies um, of the prop, and I also did a bit of a gradient on the horn, going from brown at the base of the horn to gold at the top. Next I'm adding an elastic strap on the back, and with that this project is finished, uh, wait, no it's not. So I thought I was finished this, but episode 3 came out today and I noticed there's some more details on the sides here. So normally I would carve those in, but since this is already painted and everything, I'm just going to draw them on with a sharpie. Okay, now that I have those lines, it is finished. enjoyed the video and uh, thanks to my sister Olivia for being in the video uh, and so if you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe all that YouTube stuff and follow me on Instagram and join the Ben Films subreddit uh, and I'll see you in the next video